mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello everybody troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Berry Hills and guys, it is time to talk about the real housewife of Atlanta because they're finally feel I mean they have been filming for a while, but I mean tensions are arising over there. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now if you are new here and you want to join the Berry Troop. Subscribe, 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 hit the notification bell, guys, and let's talk about this um, mess. Girl. <clears throat> we kind of fell in love with Kenya more during the Real Housewife Ultimate Girls Trip, okay? I know a lot of you, if you haven't watched a girls trip, are going to be like, Kenya is evil, Kenya did this, Kenya is a horrible person. But when you watch her on Ultimate Girls Trip, he, I mean, she show us a complete different face. Like, she honestly changed a lot of my perception of Kenya, okay? Yes, she can be a lot. Yes, she can be aggressive, you know, but you kind of, like, understood her a little bit more, and you can, like, you saw her. I mean, I think the version that we have, the version of Kenya that we have on Atlanta is a version that needs to be, you know, protective all the time, you know, and against these girls, and they don't support each other, they go against each other's throats all the time, when you see Kenya on this new environment, which she still end up having huge problems with Ramona, when you see her surround her, surrounded by people who actually have her back, it, it was a completely different person, okay, with that being said, now we are back on the Real Housewife of Atlanta and they're filming and you know that Miss Kenya is not going to be playing and she's not going to let any of these girls get to her, right? Well, apparently there is a massive feud going on between Kenya Moore and Marlo Hampton again. With the difference that now Marlo Hampton is holding her own pitch, so she has a lot more to prove okay, and she has more uh, tools to do it, okay, they, these two have not been friends for a very long time, they have trashed each other over and over again, they cannot stand each other, and then they did that whole fake truce that they did last season, that we know that that was not gonna last, okay, the whole like, let's not do this anymore, Kenya, let's just be friends, let's just be okay, and like, I got you, girl, yes, let's hug it out, bitch, please, you know that that's not gonna happen, and as soon as Marlo got that pitch, she, it's game on, okay, let's be honest, I mean, I don't, I, I, I love Kenya and I, well, I don't love Kenya, but I like Kenya and I like Marlo, okay? And I like most of them. So I don't know. I, I'm like, I kind of like in the middle, but what you know that when Marlo received that pitch, she had a responsibility with great power comes great responsibility, you know, and she had to deliver. Now, I don't think that's a problem for Marlo on the sense that she has always been delivering, even as a friend of the show, you know, but now the thing is like, if she doesn't do a good job as a pitch holder, Bravo can easily go on and say, you know what, we actually don't need you anymore, not even as a friend, because she used to be that friend of Nini Leaks. So I'm thinking that Bravo is trying to replace Nene Leakes with Marlo Hampton, you know? So that's a huge, huge responsibility right there. That's like, wow. So M Marlo is ready to like go for the kill and do whatever she needs to do. And you know that Marlo is not afraid to get down and dirty, you know, and do and expose and like talk, you know, and be who she needs to be. But with that being said, you know that Kenya is not playing either, and she will go there with you. You want to scream? I can scream louder, you know? And <clears throat> it's going to be an ugly, ugly season. Now, part of the tea is that apparently their feud has gone so messy that Miss Kenya Moore had, or, well, she didn't have, but, like, she ended up um, hiring private armed security, like a bodyguard or guards 
to be around her every single time that they're filming a scene with Miss Marlowe Hampton. That's how afraid she is of Marlowe Hampton, okay? Because she knows, and we all know, that Marlowe will drag a bitch, right? Um, it's a little bit too much, girl, please. It's going to be amazing TV. Of course, it's going to be amazing TV. I mean, can you imagine Kenya arriving? And she, she's going to be so shady. I can already see it, you know? Uh, like Kenya just walking in with like her two bodyguards and being like, oh, you know, I don't know. She's going to say something like very shady to Marlo. And girl, this is going to be a mess. These two personalities are just huge. They can fight. They can kill with their words. And if needed, they can go physical. They can go there. I don't know which team to be, honestly. I mean, I will say, oh, Team Marlo. I like Marlo. I mean, she has been delivered for so many years. And she is, like, so funny. But after Ultimate Girls Trip, I honestly have to say, I open up a lot to Kenya. I mean, I'm not 100% in love of her. But I think that she is great TV, that she is a very strong, powerful woman, and that she will go there if she needs to, okay? So I have a lot of respect for that. So these two titans clashing, girl, yeah. and there is, a, I mean, a lot of uh, of tea coming, you know? Um, Drew Sidora is going to be in the middle of a lot of tea. Even the new one, um, what is her name? something Ross, I haven't heard her name yet, but like she's already also fighting. So you know that a lot of things is gonna be happening. There are gonna be two sides. Uh, there's going to be, but I feel that the Queens this season is going to be definitely Miss Kenya Moore and definitely Miss Marlo Hampton. And then everyone is gonna be just like going around those two, you know, clashing with each other. And at, at some point, this is going to end up in a mess and this is gonna end up being bad but you know what we love that we love that journey for us because that's what makes great reality tv and after last season that was a mess and bad we definitely need a good great season of atlanta again all right guys let me know what you think in the comments below um, which team are you? Are you Team Kenya? Are you Team Marlo? Uh, do you think that Marlo is going to be delivering as a pitch holder? Do you think that Kenya is going to allow Marlo to do whatever she wants? Let me know in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.